Hello there, and welcome to Monovolve. I'm playing Pikmin Three Deluxe. Ooh. All right. When did this come out? 2013. It's 2013. Yep. Oh, looks pretty good. It's got a Mario Galaxy vibe. I think you said that for <laughs> Pikmin 1. Did I? Yeah, with the, the menu up there. Uh, well, this d definitely does. Galactic date, 20 XX. XX? Elon took over? Lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopi. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and the basic lack of planning, Kopi's <laughs> inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel <laughs> reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light-year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. I don't think one person can land on this planet without crashing. This game came out nine years after Pikmin 2. And then Pikmin 4 came out ten years after this one. Uh. I've been waiting ten years for Pikmin 4. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ugh. What happened? Buzz Lightyear? It is Buzz Lightyear. Oh, so Where am I? The last uh, I remember was. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Sorry. Charlie the Sorry. ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? Okay. This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Uh, uh, hello? Uh, Anyone? So far. There's no response. Uh, Where's my ship? My crew! <laughs> <laughs> I managed to escape unscathed. But what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Elf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. I can move with the control stick? Huh? What the? There are more of them. So strange. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. I'm surrounded! <laughs> and I should throw them! Get away from me! They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing <laughs> and throw them with <laughs> Hey! Maybe these fellows can be of some use. Alright, so uh, this is uh Pikmin 3. 
uh, I'll probably beat this quite easily because it's kind of an easy game. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's Olimar not in this? Possibly not. I mean, clearly, that's not Olimar. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's three people. One kind of looked like Olimar, but. <clears throat> Well, so look, look at this place. It looks beautiful, especially for like 2013. It looks fucking. No, it incredible. looks really good. Yeah. Pikmin 4 is gonna look like dog shit compared to this. <laughs> Maybe I should spend his play through just like shit talking Pikmin 4 and say it's the worst game ever made. This? No, Pikmin 4. Say it's Bef the worst game ever made? Before I even play it. I'll be like Twitter. Yeah, that's Twitter for you. It's either the best thing you've ever seen or the worst thing you've ever seen. Yeah. Elf's crash shot. Crap shot. You can be now. Uh, you can be elf if you want. Okay. I got something. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's been a minute. There's a small bit of voice acting in there. It's been, it's been a minute. But it's like Hold Nintendo on. voice acting. It was like. Right. So, use Take that as that. you will. Yeah. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Here we go, Pope. <laughs> Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew you members. Need to work on uh, you sound like Marge Simpson trying to whisper to somebody. <laughs> That's what he sound like. <laughs> no. I'm just... Homie. Oh, Homie. <gasps> so they want to eat the Pikmin? What was that? I don't know where you got that idea, but I'm behind it. <laughs> what? <laughs> them wanting to eat the Pikmin. I don't think, uh... I mean, they were out looking for food, and they said this is the only planet. Yeah. And they... Clearly, they're always talking how they look like pick pick carrots. Mm hmm It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. If you want to save your voice, you can do, like, a typical Phoenix voice that voice. It's actually fine. It's actually... Uh, and what's that stuck in that branch? Is there anything I can do? I just need to throw it. Nice! <laughs> she dies! It's immediate. Got it. What the fuck is this thing? It's the new onion design. <gasps> what the fuck? I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. <gasps> What's this pile of rubble? No. What are they doing? I think we can now, like, build widgets right now. And I can help them by just, like, pushing them. Oh, fantastic. They've evolved. My cop pad! Go pad! <laughs> Go pad! <laughs> Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Alright. Gotta make things go a little bit faster by telling them. You know, doing some speedrun strats, you know? Because I'm a, I'm a speedrunner. I'm good at the game. Speedrunner. Oh, yeah. yeah it's just uh, talking about food. What is, like... I've been thinking about this. Like, what is the worst thing you've ever eaten that's edible? Um... I can't think of it. 
I mean, I think I can think of foods I don't like, like like refried beans or <laughs> corn, you know. But like, the, that's the worst things I've ever ate. Uh, does this need to be like something that isn't engineered to be bad? Yeah, yeah. So, not like fucking like bean boozled. Right, exactly. Egg yeah. type thing. Um. Oh, you gotta voice act closely. Well, first of all, I gotta grab these guys. First thing that comes to mind is once when I was a kid, my mom made sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. And my mom kind of has a reputation as not being the best cook in the world. Yeah. And let's just say that there's still I would know. There's <laughs> one girl it gets around, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just say there's still corners of that house. That if you step on the floor just right, you can smell that sauerkraut. Oh, wow. And it was the most horrible. You took a food that was already just fermented cabbage. Yes. And then whatever the hell she did with it. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. It ruined the house. Like we were fanning the doors and opened all the windows for days. Really? It was fucking terrible. This was when you were young. I want to say I was like. I don't know. It could have been nine or thirteen. It was one of those. I don't know. <laughs> you know, the small specific age gap of nine to thirteen. She went through this phase where she tried to cook a lot, and it's just, it was kind of sad. I was just always a failure. <laughs> it was always like horribly bad. Uh, the sauerkraut comes to mind. It's just being like absurdly terrible. I'll tell you mine once you finish this. Okay. Great. It still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Copite Engineering. There you go. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. This fucking touchpad sucks, dude, man. <sighs> okay. You play Elf, by the way. Hmm? You play Elf, by the way. Oh, right. <laughs> Yes, this Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Man, this was a bad time to catch a cold. Now we can start exploring with the help of the copad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. I'll take photos? Yeah. Of course we gotta take a photo. Uh, uh, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that works. Um, yeah, we gotta take photos, of course. Ah, there we go. A little bit of, I, 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 I would say this is a bit of a, um, you, a, a, you know, it's my arts. So you can see in the right there. Yeah, you know, in the uh, bottom right, mm -hmm. it's not a very specific, like you know, not, not a very like imaginative photo, mm. right? Until you look at the bottom right, and you're like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, there's there's a, a hint, uh, there's a promise of life. Yeah, yeah, uh, that life is always in the corner of our eyes, you know. And even though there's this bridge, this winding path, yeah, exactly. It's life that truly. Piques our interest. Exactly. And that's why that photo is so thought provoking, really. <laughs> Alright, my. I, I can only think of like one thing that, like. Uh, that I despised every time I ate it, which was Tuna Helper. Ah. Uh, tuna Helper. Really? Yeah. You're... Every time I ate it, <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> Purely awful. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures pro pro propagate. 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 Swear to God, I've, n I've never actually looked at that word. I've heard that word. Yep. Never actually seen the word written. Maybe you out. should read more books. I sh definitely should. Propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Okay. Yeah, um... 
I love tuna helper. <laughs> <laughs> I completely uh, despise it. I love it, and I think that's what uh, created my distaste for seafood. It's tuna helper. Really, because tuna is the most mild. I mean, tuna is it truly is just chicken of the sea. Essentially, yes. So, what was it about the bit. tuna helper? Like how it gets kind of like, like chunky and stuff. Yeah, essentially, yes. And like, sometimes you get like those like those f f flavor clods. Like, uh, oh, yeah, like the it kind of just balls up, yeah, differently. Yeah, you're right. I'm like, yeah, every time <laughs> I get to that, like, uh, despise it. Love hamburger helper, love it. You know? Yeah, I can't get, I like all the helpers, man. You can't keep me away from it. Uh, but like, tuna helper, every time <laughs> I could like smell my mother like cooking it, I'm like, oh my god, today's gonna be a horrible day. <laughs> every time that she cooked it. Uh, so yeah, that, that's probably why I hate seafood, is because of tuna helper. Probably, I've never been to a red lobster because of tuna helper, so. So wow. that's, that's a lawsuit impending from the I don't know red how to feel about that because, on one hand, tuna helper is like the lowest means available food. Yes. Which means it's like the lowest means available form of seafood. Yeah, I would it's, never it, it's I like, wouldn't even it, consider it seafood. It's like uh I have like I hate like uh like package like dollar ramen and like if I hate that then I hate all Asian food. Yeah, I guess but at the same time it's like do you actually hate the taste of tuna? I think yeah, I think I do, yeah. Hmm. So you don't eat fish at all? No. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a. I'm and not a I'm seafood person. When I'm fish, when I'm offered fish, I do partake, but I still am like. You're like. I'm, fish I, I'm confuses gonna, I'm, me. Yeah, I'm gonna suffer. Fish. Like I, it confuses me why people like it. To be honest, it has such a. What's, What's that? Oh, what is that? It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps a copad will be able to read it. Hmm? Oh, nice. Tutorials. Excellent. The copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the copad's exploration notes. What's confusing me is where is he getting service to install this app? Yeah. <laughs> What's also confusing me is that they're having to travel 250, 246,000 light years to get here. Yeah. Which means by the time they find food, everyone's going to be dead. Don't worry about that part. You know. Do they understand like they, scientific travel? They don't know that or they have defied. Uh, they all... found something quicker than the speed of light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it didn't appear that way. Nope. It, well, it, that's what you think. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? <gasps> Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Uh, maybe. According yeah. to the radar, the Drake should be around here. Yes. Uh, yeah. So like, literally like, um, like most foods I dislike, I dislike food aging because, like I said before, like corn, I dislike. <laughs> I, li I like I like it as a kid, and now I don't like it. That just blows me away. I don't like corn. An American that doesn't like corn. Even like, though I'm like a Midwestern, I still I don't like corn. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit of a uh, Eastern European accent. There it is! The SS Drake! The Copad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Hmm. 
Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Cause warranty. Elf! It's me, Whitney. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You were the answer straight, right? I made it through the, uh, the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm stuck! Oh no! We got cut off! I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? <gasps> the sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet surface for now. I actually think that this is the best intuition of this song. Look at the, the sunset in the background, the palm trees. Looking through the atmosphere into the stars. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Like a McDonald's. And if I'm really desperate, a Burger King. Yeah. This is you, by the way. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing! <laughs> You want to make a prediction on when my first death will be? I'll give you a hint. I think I'll beat this game on day 13. Well, since I don't know if I was 13 or 9 when my mom made sauerkraut, <laughs> I'm going to yep. say day 9. Day 9. Wow, very far in. I'm going to have the first death day 9. Okay. <laughs> I hope I can get that far. <laughs> I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very bad. Very, very bad. Very, very, very bad. Just three days worth of food left on the ship now at most. Time is running out. We must find Brittany soon. We? The pressure's not on me, Alf, okay? <laughs> it's you, okay? You, you, I'm not the one starving to death. Wait, so what the fuck? Where's Olimar? Oh. You seriously Ooh. not in this fucking game? What the fuck are you talking about? Jesus Christ, man, you've gone mad. Hang on a minute. Is this a prequel? Yeah, sure. No, hold on though. Is it a prequel? It's called Pikmin 3. So? 3 is bigger than 1. But it looks to have, like, a lot more life on it. That's because this came out on the Wii U. <laughs> is it? A that's probably because that's, uh, that's the reason why. But this, this looks a lot better than a NES game from 1984. 
No, but for real, is this they just the third game? They're like, fuck Olimar. Yeah. What probably. the fuck? Yeah. Or is this a prequel? Unless it's a prequel. I have to know. I'm not telling you shit. I have to know. I can't tell you anything. I refuse to be Alf until I know. The fuck's going on? Well, shit. Looks like we're gonna have to recast somebody. I'm on strike. <laughs> Is it a prequel, what or do they just abandon the Olimar? We're 20 minutes into the game. Malcolm, I'm pissed. You, you can't, well, this is not the fucking game I signed up for. Where's up. fucking Olimar? Where's Louie? Where's it's evil Louie? Where's fucking... Where's the professor? Or the, pre the president. The president. He's the president of the company. <laughs> and this is shit. There's no logic to this game. 246,000 light years trying to save a planet. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. You're taking the whole damn planet. Okay. Yeah. Onions look different. What the fuck's going on? Mm -hmm. Um, throw your complaints over at Miyamoto. It's not, it's not my fault. They yell at Miyamoto. Ship looks different. Ship looks different because it's probably a different ship. Is it a prequel or is all of them are in this ship? I don't know. I mean, Alf, Alf. He is in Smash Bros. He is? Yeah. Really? Yeah. If you, it's a, he's a different skin from all of mine. Oh. So they're the same? Oh. <gasps> Maybe. How is Alf Alomar? I don't how, know. how would Alf be Alomar? How oh, could he? Let's save your theories. No! Alf is his father! Oh. <gasps> they're from different planets, though. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're from Kopai and almost from Hakate. Well, then why don't they go to Hakate? Why don't they go to Hakate? I'm not telling you anything! No, you no, no, you no gotta, I'm figuring this shit out. Kopai becomes Hakate, Alf is Olimar's father. By God. Because of, like, a military takeover? Fucking tell me. If I figured it out, you have to tell me. You have not figured it out. <laughs> Alf is his uncle. No. <gasps> Alf is the president? No. No. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm confused. Why is Olimar not in it? You'll literally figure this out in 13 minutes. Okay, all right, let's do it. Brittany should be around here. Something's flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. Ooh, hot. I'm running out of sustenance. So I better find her before it's too late. I can't wait. Just skip through the fucking voice lines. <laughs> it looks like the onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? The Pikmin? Alright. Okay. I would like to finish this today. The whole game? Yeah, the whole game. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all... All this, the onion is the big bin's nest. I'm going to install an application on the copad that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. Oh wait, we go, 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 go. Boys, go over there. Right. I mean, he's finding data files that haven't been left behind by Olimar. You think they were left behind by, by Olimar? Who else has met the Pikmin? Louis. And the fact that they're called Pikmin, Olimar named the Pikmin Pikmin because of Pikpik carrots. Yes, he did do that. As but why mean, would the files just be laying around? Why? I don't know. Because Olimar crashed again. Oh my god, I don't know. I can't believe really it lie on me for you. Or Olimar's ship blew up with all the data files, and he and Louie and some other fuckers have just kind of been there. Survive and living with the Pikmin for a while. Olimar's gonna have a beard. Lord, straight Lord of the Flies. He's gonna have a wooden dagger and a bandana. Yes. Okay. 
and Louie has become like what C-3PO was to the Ewoks. Owies! Because he's an evil son of a bitch. Yes. And the president died. From like a heart attack? No. Worse. Chronic Stroke. eczema. Ooh. Pretty bad. Okay. Uh, I have to go after these eggs. Don't look at that. <laughs> All right. Olimar isn't even on the front cover. This oh is a terrible sign. Oh my song. God, he looked at it. Fuck me. Fucking suck the nectar probes. All right. And there's gonna be a bull bulb over here and I'm gonna kill this bull bulb. In the next, in the next episode. episode. Hurry up, hurry up. So uh, thank you all for joining us in this episode of Pikmin 3. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell to be notified every time I upload, which is every single day. Goodbye.